Well, the Santa Ana winds are kicking, leaving us nothing but clear skies over Dodger Stadium in L.A. Today, a contest from the NL West division between the Colorado Rockies and the Los Angeles Dodgers. It's a battle of elite pitchers next on MLB Network. Hyunjin Ryu, the Korean lefty, will be the starter in this one. What do we need to know here, Danny? Well, Matt, he reminds me, he's the closest thing that I've seen to David Wells. You watch him throw, he's 89 to 93 miles an hour. Kind of a big, loopy overhand curveball. Does have the hard slider and the changeup. A good athlete for a big guy. You'll know if Lead he's off, on early. For he Colorado. has to get his breaking pitches right over to make his Charlie fastball effective. Blackman. Here's Charlie Blackman now. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. Belted high and deep into right center. Back goes Pollock. Still going back. Boom goes the dynamite. So it's a solo shot on the very first pitch of the ball game. And the Rockies are out to a 1-0 lead. You talk about starting a game off quick. We couldn't even get the lineup cards in yet, and this guy's already going deep. And that brings in the power hitting shortstop Trevor Story. His past the history shortstop. with Hunjin Ryu, Trevor he's gone two for eight. Four. He also has one home run. Here comes the first pitch. And here's a ball in the air now carrying a bit out toward right center. Verdugo moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for out number one. And a that chance now to check out the visiting the Colorado field. Rockies. David. Mark DeRosa Dull. what's your take on him this afternoon on the road. Well Matt this goes for both lineups. They know they're dealing with a tough test in a pitcher's park. But they can't let that bother them too bad or they'll walk out of here three four game set 0 for 12 0 for 15. They have to find a way to stay within themselves line drive approach one will carry out of here if they get it. So the bases are empty with one man gone and into bed next will be the outfielder David Dahl ready with the first pitch here it comes. No balls in one strike. One out, nobody on. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. You know, hats off to the pitcher right there. You got a great hitter at the plate. It's early in the count, and he wanted to get ahead. Nice challenge pitch right there. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Now a drive by Dahl, and this is hit well to right field. Boom goes the dynamite. A solo home run there for David Dahl, as the Rockies have taken a two to nothing lead. Well, it's very early, but he's looked out of sorts from the beginning. They've already roughed him up for two homers, and they're not done yet. We'll see if he can regroup or if he blows up. Could go either way at this point. Digging in, Nolan Arenado, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Nolan Arenado. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. High in the air down the right field line. But this will land untouched. Still only one out in the inning.
Hit high in the air. There it goes. See ya! Nolan Arenado touches them all. And the Rockies have now taken a 3 to nothing lead. We've seen these guys go deep three times so far in this one, guys. You know, D-Row, looks like the boys are dialing long distance from the batter's box so far. <laughs> yeah, the pitchers aren't fooling anyone today, Dan. Let's see if this that trend continues. The Here's Daniel Murphy now. Nine. Daniel Murphy. There's a swing and a high, deep drive headed for the right field corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul, so a missed opportunity there. Hit down the line at first. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And he will recover in time to get it over to first. Nicely done there as they that record the second out. The second well, if you're going to bobble a ball, you have to hope it's when a guy is lumbering down the base pass. He's no speedster, so that was a good job to stay calm and make the recovery throw. So bases are empty here with two gone. And Ryan McMahon digs into bat next. Here's the first pitch to him. This is in the air to left. Chasing after it is Taylor. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. So they get three runs here, all coming via solo home runs. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. The Rockies are out in front, three to nothing. Kyle Freeland, the native of Colorado, gets the start on the mound. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, when you look up the word dependability in the dictionary, that's what this guy, you'll find a picture of this guy. Career ERA just under 3.5, and that's saying quite a lot in the high-scoring games that we see in baseball going on right now. Real solid pitcher, controls the running game, controls the strike zone, and more Forward importantly, Dodgers. he knows how to get deep the into the 6th, 7th, and 8th inning. Fred. Solid pitcher, and he'll be fun hey, to watch wow. in this one here today. First offering on its way. A high fastball is in there. The wind up and the 0 1. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Waiting on it is Dahl, and that's the first out of the inning. Now a moment for the Los Angeles Dodgers starting lineup. Anybody catch your eye, Dan? Well, I know these guys love what Justin Turner brings to their offense. Go look at the numbers. He hit over 310 last year and was consistent most of the year. I'm looking forward to him having another solid campaign. Now at the plate, Max Muncy. Lifetime against this pitcher. He's hitless in six tries. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. No balls and a strike to count. Bases are empty, one man out. Chased a low ball there, and he's quickly down in the count 0 and 2. And there are the umpires assigned to this one. Calling balls and strikes is Mr. Carl Dixon. Dan, this is an offensive player's dream to have Carl Dixon behind the dish. He is tight on the corners. He is, D. Row. And listen, he makes you bring the ball into the strike zone. Normally, high scoring of games when Carl's behind the dish. Freeland has become known as a guy that's tough to take deep. So many starting pitchers find themselves snake bitten by the gopher ball, but he really limits that.
fouled off. He's just having a hard time putting this guy away. Four foul balls in this A.B. I don't think this pitcher has got something that he can get a swing and a miss on. And he struck him out. Looked to me like he had the right idea with the swing on that pitch. And he just didn't get the, the bat to the zone in time. Jump the pitch in. was away. He let it get deep. Turner. Maybe trying to take it the other way. But it got too deep and was by him by the time his barrel could get in the correct position. In now Justin Turner. Little chopper back to the mound. Throw to Murphy will take care of him and that'll end the inning. Nothing across here this half. On to the second now at Dodger Stadium. Rockies lead it three to nothing. Standing in Ian Desmond. He'll get us started in the top of the second. One of the keys to securing a win. They want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Here's the first pitch to him. A swing and a high drive to right center field. Verdugo racing back, but he can't get it as it's off the wall. Around second now and headed for third. The relay throw, and Desmond is in at third base. He's got a triple. You've got to like the, the effort there from the right Number fielder. 58. He gives chase and leaps, but just can't bring it down. Excellent backup from the center fielder, though, coming to help out. If he doesn't, that might have been an inside the parker. Into the box, number 58, as he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. On the ground to third, Turner has it. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Great that job to cash in following the that leadoff triple. Infields back, so you just want to make Freeway. sure you get it on the ground, and that's an easy RBI. Into the box now is the Colorado pitcher, Kyle Freeland. Base is empty in front of him with one away following the RBI ground out. First offering on its way. Grounded up the first baseline, but this is foul for the first strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Now a swing and a fly ball. Verdugo is in pursuit into a slide as he makes a great basket catch. The white so a great sliding 19. catch there, and it's Darling. certainly worthy Darling. of the show track treatment. We see that he really played that ball about as well as you can. The high 90s route efficiency is evidence of that, and it really made the difference. Standing in now, Charlie Blackman. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. Here is a ground ball now for the shortstop to the right of second. Throw in time and the side is retired. So one run here on one hit, no errors, and no one left. On now to the bottom of the second. It's the Rockies four and the Dodgers nothing. Ready now, Cody Bellinger in his career against this Leading pitcher. For He's two Dodgers, for three. The first baseman. Cody. First pitch coming. Here it is. Bellinger. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. Bellinger is simply an all around great defensive outfielder. Not only does he have great range and great hands, he's also got a plus arm, one that base runners and base coaches certainly have to be mindful of. 
fastball called for strike two. He's had to be sitting out over that outer half of the plate for him to take those first two pitches right there finds himself 0 2. I'll be surprised if the pitcher doesn't go right back to that spot. And he got him. All right, guys, so here's how the Colorado Rockies set up defensively. Batting. And guys, can we lock in on the gold glover at third base? I've played this position. You got to do so many things. I mean, you have to have just the quickest hands reacting on one hop liners. You have to have the ability to take away the bunt, a la Adrian Beltre and Nolan Arenado. You better have a backhand. And not only that, you better have a strong throwing arm. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Good deception on the slider there as he's way out in front. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Skied into straightaway right. Blackman will put this one away, and that's out number two. Batting six, the shortstop, Corey Seeger. So bases are empty here with two gone. And up next, the former All Star shortstop, Corey Seeger. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Now a swing and a miss. Took something off that one and it's strike one. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he fouls this one off. Little guessing game going on right now. Being late on that fastball after the change. He had to be sitting off speed right there. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. 1 2 3 go the Dodgers. They're on the short end of a 4 0 score. With Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian with you as Trevor Story digs Trevor. into the right side of the batter's Ooh. box to kick off the inning. First pitch of the at bat. And he connects with it. This one's hit deep out to left center field. Boom goes the dynamite. A solo home run here off the bat of Trevor Story. And the Rockies are opening things up now. It's a 5 0 ball game. Speedy outfielder David Dahl. Dahl. Down the first baseline. He dives, but he can't pull it in, and it's down the line into right. They've gotten their hits in deep counts. They've gotten their hits in Up early counts. Colorado. This has been a the real onslaught. Yeah, you can look at it one of two Colorado. ways, Matty. Either they have a ton of respect for the man on the mound, and they are just going to ambush tactics, and it seems to work for them. Or you can look at it the other way. They're just getting lucky. Here's Nolan Arenado on a line to shortstop, but the runner is back to avoid the double play. Now batting the first baseman, Daniel Murphy. Into the box now, Daniel Murphy. And he puts it on the ground to second. 
one there. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. But the Rockies add one more to their lead, and it comes via the solo dinger. We play two and a half. It's the Rockies five and the Dodgers nothing. And the next up will be Alex Verdugo. Seven, eight, and nine Lady to start the home the third. Dodgers. Not much going the on right offensively fielder. so far Alex. for these guys. Six up, six Verdugo. down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. First pitch on its way. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Popped up. And he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for route number one. Batting eight. The Stepping up to the plate, number, number 16. 16. He'll get his first shot with the bat here. Here's the first pitch to him. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Hey, that's another nice two-seamer right there. He's been able to manipulate that pitch all game, keeping it at the hollow of the knee, getting a lot of ground balls and a lot of swing and miss. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0-2. Dodgers have yet to break into the hit column here. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. One of the toughest pitches to hit, the straight changeup, right? No combio. No Hadn't pitcher. seen it in that entire at bat. What happens? Gets the string Three pulled you. on him right there. Had no chance to put that ball in play. Coming to the plate now, Hyunjin Ryu. Two away in the inning, and Dan, it looks like this could be another one, two, three inning for him. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. First pitch coming, here it is. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground, but a foul ball here. 0 and 1. Two out, nobody on. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole. 0 and 2. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly and the inning is over. Dodgers down in order. Need to get it going soon. It's 5 nothing. Ready for another chance. Ryan McMahon. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs, too. Swung on and missed. It's 0 and 1. You know, we saw these guys around the cage during batting practice, and they told us they were going to be aggressive. I think this is getting a little ridiculous. They better watch themselves. If they don't start putting balls in gaps, this guy's going to find himself in the eighth inning cruising. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Up next for Colorado, the center fielder, Ian Desmond. So the base is empty here with one away, and the next to dig in will be the outfielder, Ian Desmond. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hit hard on the ground is short. Seeger loves it. On to first, and that is two quick outs to start the fourth. Now batting, number 58. Now batting, number 58. 0 for 1 with a run batted in thus far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. 
just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. Five runs, six hits, no errors in the ballgame for the Rockies thus far. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Verdugo waits on it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Three up, three down for Colorado, but they hold a 5 nothing lead. Now in the box, Chris Taylor back to the top of the lineup as they're still looking for their first base runner in this one. No doubt about that, Matt. They've yet to figure this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. Here's the pitch. Starts him out with the slider for a strike. Oh, he thanks his lucky stars right there getting away with that hanger. I cannot believe he didn't pull the trigger on that pitch. The wind up and the 0 1. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. Mm -hmm. Just reached back and threw a high fastball right by him. He didn't stand a chance. Now a changeup locks him up as he looks at strike three called. One away. Flat out locked him up with the changeup right there. Usually you're trying for a swing and miss when you throw that pitch in a two strike count. But clearly he wasn't looking for it. So it's a backwards K for him. Stepping into the box. Max Muncy. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see. If he tries to cheat to something, this A.B. Donnie straightens him up with a fastball that time. It's ball one. You know, I doubt he wanted to get that type with the fastball there. But, hey, this is a guy you certainly don't want to let him get his arms extended. He's the kind of guy that can hurt you. The 1-0. Taken on the inside corner for strike one. Pretty adamant about working him inside right now. Back-to-back -back fastballs, and that one was able to find the zone. No runs, no hits, no errors for the Dodgers thus far. And not a real good cut at that slider, and he's behind one and two. Yeah, right there, it's tough to be able to dive out over the plate. I know it's a pitch people think you can get to, but after you're pounded in twice, that ball looks like a foot outside. He froze him on the fastball there. Max Muncy becomes out number two now this batting. inning. He's the really on a roll right now Jump on the mound. Back-to-back yeah. -back strikeouts to wrap up the last inning. And now he started this frame with the same story. Four straight strikeouts in all. Stepping in now, Justin Turner. As he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0-1. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Strike two taken, a fastball that clips the inside black. You can tell this offense is getting frustrated, but this might be one you have to shower off. When a guy's locating like this, fastball at the knees and to both corners, it's going to be tough for them to do anything with it. Fouled away. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Okay, so now is where I think you pull the string. Throw the El Cambio up there. Hasn't seen it yet, and I think he's set up for it right here. Trying to strike out the side. Here it is. And he got another one here. He strikes out the side. He set down five in a row via the punch out, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Dodgers. They can't chip into that 5 nothing deficit. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Kyle Freeland. He flew out in his last at-bat. Number 21, Kyle Freeland. First pitch coming, here it is. 
lifted the other way to left center. Pollock giving chase, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. Hey, you talk about having a game right here. This guy's working on a no-no, and no. he mixed in a knock. How would you like to be on the mound knowing you got more hits than the opposition? You haven't given up anything yet. Now here's the Dodgers skipper up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And that will be the last we see in this one of Hunjin Ryu. So he'll depart after working just four plus innings as this will not go down as a quality start. That's for sure. Ladies Ross Stripling takes the ball here please. as he'll enter with a runner at first and nobody out. Number 68. Ross Into the box, Charlie Blackman, as he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. One for two in the ball game thus far. A swing and a shot hit down the corner and foul, though it had the home run distance. Freeman on at first, nobody out. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Taylor is there and he makes the catch for the out. Now batting, shortstop, Trevor Story. So striding forward now, Trevor Story. His previous history with Ross Stripling, he's gone two for six. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And that's cut on and missed 0 1. Hey, this pitcher better watch himself right here. The way this guy's swinging, he's got aggressive things on his mind. Ground ball foul down the left side. Stripling, a native Pennsylvanian. He was a fifth round pick during the first year player draft of 2012. Hey, nothing has been handed to this guy drafted in the middle rounds, and he has found his way in the big leagues. This has turned out to be a really nice pick. The 0-2 delivery. Line drive to center field. Pollock is there now, and he has it to gone. Now batting, left fielder, David. Striding in for the Rockies, David Dahl. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. He's set. Here it comes. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. Well, these days don't happen often. You better dig yourself when you get three knocks in a big league way go. It's hard to have three hits in one day, but boy, this guy is off to a great start in this one. So two on with two away, and in next it'll be the perennial MVP candidate, third baseman Nolan Arenado. First pitch of the at bat sent in the air out to straightaway central Pollock has a read on it and that's the third out two left for Colorado 
as they're unable to add to their 5-0 lead. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Matt, during the break, I caught up with Dave Roberts, a Dodgers skipper, about his lineup's performance so far, and he told me, overall, he's not happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They haven't had a single guy on base yet, so it's starting to feel a little desperate down here. But he said they've unfortunately just been faced with some really great pitching today. The key going forward is to find any way they can to get him out of his rhythm on the mound. Now, that may be a tall task, but they feel the little adjustments could lead to things Leading turning around for them. The Dodgers. All right, Heidi, the thank you. Basement. At the plate, Cody, Cody Bellinger. He'll start things out Bellinger. here in the home fifth, and it's been tough sledding for this lineup through the first half of the game. Yeah, they haven't had any momentum going to the plate so far in this one, Matt. They need something to break their way and wake them up a bit. Be nice to get these fans involved at some point as well. First pitch on its way. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Uh, tried to pull that one back, but he couldn't do it, and it's 0-2 now. That misses one and two. Oh, and they still have no answer for him up there. Six straight punch outs now, and there's one away. Man, this guy's on his game the today, not only when Number he's throwing 11. strikes. But how about AJ. the amount of strikeouts? And what's even more impressive, no walks up to this point. So he's pounding that zone with strikes, and he's making these hitters swing the bat. Standing in now, A.J. Pollock. As he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And he'll put this away for the second out. The Still batter, a little early five. to start talking Just about these things. There Corey. you go right there. A big goose egg Seeker. in that hit column. Worth keeping in mind as we get later into the afternoon. Here's Corey Seeger. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Here's the first pitch to him. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Yeah, Matty, he's very late on that first pitch. I, I, I got to think he was guessing off speed. Bases are empty here with two men out. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. Hit on the ground to third. Arenado has it. Throw to Murphy will take care of him, and that'll end the inning. Dodgers down in order. Need to get it going soon. It's 5 nothing. Digging in, Daniel Murphy. He's rolled into ground outs a couple of times already here in the ballgame. Daniel Murphy. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Hit high in the air. There it goes. See ya. A solo shot there for Daniel Murphy as they pile on. It's now six to nothing.
the batter, number 24, second baseman, Ryan McMahon. Here's Ryan McMahon now as he swings and grounds it toward the hole. On to first, so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. The batter, the center fielder, Ian Desmond. Ready once again, Ian Desmond. One run in and one gone so far this inning. Here's the first pitch to him. Hard hit toward the hole. Can he get it there in time? Yes, he can. Very well done there, and that's the second out. Now, well, that was certainly worth another look in. with show track. He made that play look easy, but the sliding stop is anything but. Then he rifles the ball across the infield to complete the out. Just a great play all the way around. In now, number 58. Hit high in the air. There it goes. See ya. So it's a solo shot to dead center as this lead swells to seven to nothing. The pitcher, number 21, Kyle Freeland. Stepping in now, Kyle Freeland. And on the first pitch, he hits it in the air to right. Verdugo waits on it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. So two runs come across here, both coming via the solo home run. Bottom part of the order, 7, 8, and 9, due up in the home half. Colorado's out in front, 7 to nothing. Stepping in, Alex Verdugo over one Dodgers. after a pop out in the foul right territory his first Alex. time through. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back shoulder, and thus the result was a terrible pop up foul. Nope. Fastball just missed above the zone. Count one and oh. Pitch popped up and he'll indeed make the play in foul territory for the first out now batting that's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up in the zone they took him up the ladder and he couldn't get up to it so that was an easy pop out well executed pitch there. Into the box number 16. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty it's strike one looking to put the ball in play here he went down on strikes in his first at bat. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Popped up. Story is there. Two down. Now batting the pitcher. Rook. Way. David Freeze will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher the here. Number 25, David Freeze. <laughs> hit on the ground is short. Throw to Murphy, he'll take care of him, and that'll end the inning. One, two, three, go the Dodgers. They need to get something cooking here. It's seven nothing. Welcome back. Here's Heidi Watney with the report as we get set for the top of the seventh. Heidi. 
Thanks, Matt. I talked with Rockies skipper Bud Black between innings, specifically about his club's offensive output to this point. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. Top to bottom, he said his guys have been picking on the right pitches to swing at, and they've done a nice job of using the whole field. He said that always seems to be a recipe for success, and their seven extra base hits in this one are evidence that it has Your been. Your attention, please. Okay, now thank you, Heidi. Kenta Maeda enters now in a mop-up role as she'll try to keep Kenta. the deficit right where it is. Maeda. So stepping in, Charlie Blackman. Take out for Colorado. The right fielder, number 19, Charlie Blackman. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. High and deep to left center field. Back goes Taylor at the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Now this guy's not wasting any time, right? Trevor Gets a first pitch Story. fastball, and he flies out deep on the first pitch of the inning. Riding into the box, Trevor Story. Previous head-to-head -head matchups with Kenta Maeda, he's three for 15. He's gone down on strikes eight times as well. First offering on its way. On a line, that's a base hit into left field. That base hit was screaming off the bat, and our show track technology more Up than confirms it. 111 miles an hour was the Maybe. exit velocity of that no. line drive. Standing in now, David Dahl, as he rips it on the ground to second. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And the recovery throw is too late, and there are two on with one away now. now hey, guys, I think the pitcher was just trying to steal a strike right there. I do not think he expected to get ambushed on an oh oh get me over breaking ball. But that's exactly what happened. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Nolan Arenado. Here's the first pitch to him. And that one swung on and missed 0 1. Oh, and he took a big swing at that one as this is driven out to deep left center field. And this is turning ugly now as this ball's down for extra bases. And he's going to score with ease as the throw will be too late. Sometimes it's hard to explain when a game is this lopsided. A lot of things just kind of snowball on you. One thing leads to another, a big hit, which leads to another, some bad defense, some shoddy pitching. Next thing you know, you look up, and you're on the wrong side of a whole lot of badness. Digging in and looking for more, Daniel Murphy. He's working on a one for three thus far. First pitch of the at bat. And he got him out in front that time. Strike one. Dahl on third. Arenado at second with one away. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And nearly a three run shot. Instead, it's a foul ball. Slap hard the opposite way. Catch will be made here. Tagging is the runner from third. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. Boy, this one looked like it was headed for extra bases off the bat. Instead, a line drive bullet caught in the alley. But he does end up getting a sacrifice fly. In now, Ryan McMahon pulled toward right center field. Verdugo waits on it. 
No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Bottom of the seventh inning upcoming in L.A. Get up and stretch. The Rockies are out in front, nine to nothing.